What's up YouTube? I'm here with another video. This thing I wouldn't recommend to anyone, like just do it if you feel like you could enjoy it or like if you really think you need those echoes. What I'm doing right now is farming two echoes that I need the most. Like I already have a set for Kauchor or like whatever the name of the Electro guy is and one for Havoc main character. So right now, because I put Jian, the Wind Dragon guy, I'm trying to beat the monkey so I can get its echo. But I don't really recommend this for anyone because you don't get any legendary echo until you reach data bank 15, so don't do this before that for sure. And you don't only need data bank level 15, you also need union level 30. Because if you don't have it, that in the data bank, you will not be getting legendaries. But even if you do, as you've probably seen in the like last video, my data bank is capped at level 18 because that's the best it can reach right now, like as you can see. For me to get level 19, even though I have the XP, I need to reach the next soul 3 phase, which will happen at level 40 union level. And that is when the drop rate increases to 80% instead of 50% for legendary. So until then, I do not recommend doing this, but if you have any free time, you just want to get like one or two characters best in slot echoes, then you can shift around between two, like you go, for example, first the turtle, then the monkey. The turtle I'm doing for Verena because currently my echoes on Verena are all level zero. And like I just put level zero healer set echoes on her. So I'm trying to get like one really good one at least. Because it can help. And like having at least two turtles so you can have like for two teams or maybe three for three teams of healers would be really nice so I'm currently alternating between this turtle and the uh, monkey so I can have a Nemo main set and healer main set as I already have Electro and Havoc main set prepared so as you see I got an echo this time like it won't always drop an echo so keep that in mind, like at least until you... But as you see, I got the legendary one, so that's nice. It could have some good stats. What I'm looking for is either healing bonus and, and HP percent or double HP percent. I believe the healing bonus one is better for some instances, but I could be wrong. Like I haven't tried calculating what's truly ideal. And as you can see, while I'm alternating between the two of them, the monkey has already respawned. Like if you do it with two average bosses, like the turtle is a weekly boss, but I believe it's the best drop for healers. But if you do it versus bosses that are in the weekly boss, it should be like instantly completed for both, I believe. As you see, this time I dropped the monkey, last time I didn't. But it's a purple one, so as I told you, it's only 50% rate of it being a legendary, 50% it being a purple, and that is if it drops at all. So, until Union level 30 and data bank 15, don't do this at all. After you reach those ranks, it's up to you, like, do you feel like throwing away a bit of your sanity to manage to get some best in slot artifacts for characters? Other than that, you can just farm the basic echo monsters, like just beating them every day, everything that you see, and that will end up dropping uh, some echo, some legendary, some not, if you have reached data bank 15. But keep in mind, there is a 5 minute cooldown, so you might have to wait at times. But unlike Genshin, you don't have to go away from the spotlight. As you will see any moment now, it will just respawn right in front of me. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and stay tuned, subscribe to watch more content of this. I'm enjoying the game, so I will probably be posting more.